there's the challenge. One week, try it in every conversation when I get that feeling like, oh, I know what I'm gonna say next. I'm just gonna like let that go and then really focus 100% on trying to understand deeply what the person I'm talking to says to me. Let's see if I can't follow it up with something a bit more intuitive than just my own rabbiting on stories. <laughs> Episode 32, morning pixie, cracking a little morning here in Sydney, beautiful clear skies, sun's coming up, it's actually just the most spectacular time of year here, winter is done, technically start of spring so birds are going crazy with the early mornings, rabbits are out, <laughs> much to the delight of pixie. <laughs> It just feels like everything starts again, right? Everything starts anew. Pixie! 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 Here! <laughs> Hello, puppy! Hello, Pixie! Hello, Pixie! One of those magnificent little secret hidden spots in Sydney where, you know, you get these spectacular views. That there is a CBD and you probably can't see it on the film, it was actually a, uh, an aeroplane on approach coming over the right hand shoulder of the city there. Another plane taking off, coming overhead, banking around for an approach to the airport. Oh, it's just spectacular. And there's the old pipeline. We walk every day, good morning dog. I've been thinking about this week ahead over the weekend and what I might be able to work on in terms of a skill or something to try and improve. And I kind of was having some conversations with friends. We had some friends over for a meal. And as the conversation unfolded, it really occurred to me just how much of the time we spend listening to each other, but really we're kind of listening with the intention of recounting our own story or inserting our own little uh, anecdote behind what they're saying, rather than really listening to what they've got to say. Here we go. I'm wondering if you've noticed this. You'll be in the middle of a conversation with somebody and telling a story or whatever it is that you're talking about, and you kind of see this like look in their eyes, where they sort of stop and they go, and you kind of pause for a second, and it's almost like you can see in their eyes the fact that they've worked out what they're gonna say next. That next little conversation point has clicked into place. And it's almost from that point on, you're not sure if they're genuinely listening to you because they're kind of waiting for their turn to speak. And look, far out, I'll do that too. I think it's just a human nature and part of the way that we communicate is that you know, conversation is a back and forth. And our brain, rather than 100% listening to people all the time, sometimes it's focused on working out what to say next. I suppose it's not unusual. Anyway, gave me the thought that that's something I could work on this week. I'm actually gonna be off on a couple of work trips, or a work trip I should say, down to Melbourne to go and visit a whole bunch of universities. And so I'm going to be in the office, I'm going to be out of the office, personal, you know, stuff going on as well. I'm going to be talking to a lot of people. So that's the mission. It's like to listen with the intention to understand, rather than listening with the intention to say something next. And as I go, I'll, uh, I'll keep track of what it feels like, what I've learned through that process, and I'll share that with you because it's super interesting, I think. You know, people will say that the best interviewers or when you're interviewing, you know, you can't have too many questions laid out because 
Otherwise you stop listening to what the person you're talking to is saying. And that's where you like miss those like golden nuggets of follow-up questions and the like. And I think that's possibly true just in day-to-day -day conversations, at work, whatever it might be. But it's just a hunch. So I'm gonna follow it this week and we'll let you know. So there you go, that's the challenge for this week. Every conversation I go into, I'm gonna really try and focus on listening to what the person is saying. And every time I notice that I get that feeling like, oh, I've worked out what I'm gonna say next, I'm just gonna let that thought go and watch it disappear into the lovely blue sky and focus 100% on trying to understand what those people are saying to me. We'll see what happens. I'll get back to you. Let's go, traverse. Free. Well, first conversation, really trying to pay attention. And I can tell you what, it's amazing how much, at least my brain, I don't know about yours, is just screaming at me when I'm having a conversation about you know, there's the next thing you gotta say. It's like, oh yeah, I've got a story I can insert right there. And a uh, bit of a challenge just to say, say to yourself, okay, let that, just let that thought go. And off it goes wandering. So this is gonna be an interesting week. Have a good one, whatever you're getting up to. Bye dog. Cheerio.